Hey Run Junkies, I don't often have a chance to just sit down and immerse myself in a book. I don't do a lot of active reading sitting down on a couch with a book. I just don't have the time for it and I certainly don't have the focus for it. But recently I've been digging into the mental side of running and what that means for our journey. I've been looking for resources that will help me tap into that and do a deeper dive into that mental aspect of things. And Coach Christine recommended this book, Kara Goucher, Strong, A Runner's Guide to Boosting Confidence, and becoming the best version of you. Now that tagline might feel a little long, but it's very true. Kara Goucher is a two-time Olympian and she hosts an annual running retreat up in Boulder, Colorado. She also went to my alma mater, University of Colorado at Boulder. I will leave an Amazon link in the description, but let's talk about this amazing book. First off, this is a quick read. It actually didn't take me very long to get through this book. I spent a lot of time on airplanes lately, so I read it basically while I was traveling. It is chock full of inspirational nuggets that you might use on your own running journey. Goucher explains her mental struggles around her running journey and how she would be in and among all of these other elite runners and she just felt like she didn't belong. She cited her lack of confidence as a kind of a long time problem that kind of plagued her running journey until she started something called a confidence journal. Now this book, once you get to the end of it, does go into the process of developing a confidence journal and kind of defining what that means. And I've already been using something like this in my own running journey for years with the notes that I leave in Training Peaks or Strava or uh, Garmin Connect. I add these little bits and nuggets about what went right and how do I feel about that run. But she explains that there's a little bit more to the confidence journal than just explaining how the workout went. It's about finding the positive in all of it, even if it was a bad workout find and dig deep to find that positive. And this isn't just focusing on the positive within our running journey. It's about focusing on the positive throughout our lives and kind of having just a general positive self-talk and positive self-attitude that will build our confidence up. She asks, what if we took the time each day to quietly celebrate our accomplishments and focus on the positive? I mean, Really, as Goucher walks you through the practice of developing that self-confidence, she talks about positive self-talk, mantras, visualization techniques, power words, all with the idea that these facets of our mental training will not only boost our self-confidence, but if we believe that we are capable, then we unlock that potential that we didn't even know we had. So this book for me is exactly what I need. As many of you know, I've been working really hard on developing a stronger mental toughness and, and, and adding that piece to my training. That mental piece of this is probably my greatest challenge. It isn't flowery prose and it doesn't need to be. Kara Goucher, the way she wrote this just spoke to me on a level that meets me right where I am. She admitted to saying things to herself as an elite level runner that I know I personally have said to myself and I see so much on social media that self-doubt and lack of self-confidence that runners have, those deep-seated fears that many of us face when we're going after big goals or when, maybe just when we're trying to get started as a runner. So that an elite athlete like Kara Goucher has had these same self-doubt, self-confidence fears that just makes me feel like, okay, well, I'm not alone in this. But what I love the most is that she explains we do not have to live in that negative headspace. She actually comes out and says, yes, we do belong on that start line. So if you've ever struggled with your confidence as a runner, or even just in general, this is a fantastic book. I highly recommend it. Gentlemen, you probably would get a lot out of this, but I will give you fair warning. It's definitely written by a woman for women. It's designed as more of a workbook and a reference rather than a story to be you know, read from cover to cover and then put back on the shelf. I love that she has given some prompts and a lot of space in here to write, and I plan on using this book fairly frequently in the coming weeks. The Confidence Journal is something that I want to dive a little bit further into, really want to work on processing my runs a little bit more and being more intentional about finding the positive instead of just checking a box. Now, in full disclosure, I'm actually very comfortable with where my running journey is. I feel like I have learned so much. But when it comes to my coaching journey that I'm just now embarking on, that is a complete 
completely different story as far as my confidence goes. I think my coaching journey is where this book is going to come in really handy. Look, there are hundreds of books out there that will help you develop your mental toughness as a runner, but Strong is a really great place to start if you wanna know why mental toughness is so important. I don't think that just all of a sudden believing in yourself will instantly make you a faster, more accomplished runner, but what I think it might do is get you out of your own way. Bottom line is this, if you are struggling with self-doubt and low self-confidence, check out this book. It's fantastic. It will give you so much great information. Kara Goucher is as real as it gets. A couple of questions for you today. First, have you read this book? And if so, what do you think? Do you have any other books that you would like me to read and discuss here on the channel? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. As always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Lastly guys, I want to draw your attention to a new feature on my channel homepage and that's called the community tab. This is where I hope to just continue the conversation, ask you guys some questions, maybe post up some bonus content or behind the scenes stuff. So please feel free to check that out. You can find those on my channel homepage under the community tab. You can also find them on your mobile devices under the home or the subscriptions tabs. So join in the conversation, but that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.